In the second part of the optimization series, we're going to learn how to utilize the mesh decimation feature in SimLab Composer. We're going to be using the same model we used in the previous part of the series. To access the model, simply go to the SimLab Academy, then select Scene Management, then Optimization, and then load the first step to open this 3D model. Select this part of the couch, and from the Geometry menu select Info. Info will display the number of polygons for the selected object, which as you know, directly impacts the performance of the model in PDF, rendering, as well as VR, and since you might want to run the experience on a low-end device, a low polygon count could be crucial in assuring a smooth VR experience. This component has around 320,000 polygons. Now with the same object still selected, from the geometry menu, select Mesh Decimation. The Mesh Decimation tool is able to reduce the poly count of a 3D object without affecting its appearance greatly, given that you use it in a reasonable fashion. In the dialog, set the value to 80, which would set the decimation tool to aim for a reduction of 80% of the total poly count of the selected objects. Click OK to finish the decimation process. From the Geometry menu, select Info again. As you can see the number of polygon has dropped to around 65,000. Mesh decimation can be used on multiple objects at the same time, so you wouldn't have to decimate each object in the scene one by one, but rather can run this on the whole scene in one go, if necessary. With the couch assembly selected, press Ctrl, Shift and I to display the info. The couch has around 1 million polygons, Let's try to reduce it now using the decimation tool. Select Mesh Decimation and set the reduction percent to around 50. Once the process is done, press Ctrl, Shift, I. And as you can see it has around 630,000 polygons, which is roughly half the polygon counted it before. Mesh decimation can be a very useful tool when it comes to optimizing your 3D scene, it is fast, easy to use, and can greatly affect your viewing experience, whether it be PDF, rendering, or virtual reality.